the bell icon to turn on notifications. We've made the files the instructor uses in this tutorial available for free. Just click the link below in the video details to get these. Hello everyone and welcome back to this course on Word 2019 Advanced. We're down into section 12 and in this section we're going to talk about bookmarks and cross-referencing. Now both of these are essentially a way to jump to different areas of your document. And I'm going to start out by running you through a demonstration of how bookmarks work. So on the screen in front of me, I have my solar system document, and I've changed this document very slightly from previous modules. So I now have a list at the top, and this is just a bulleted list of the planets of the solar system. And then I've actually also changed the numbering style that I'm using for my document. So you'll see as we go through, once we get down to some of these subheadings, I now have the style of 5.1, 5.2, 5.3, so on and so forth. So the way that I've done this is just by utilizing outline numbering and using this numbering option just here. Now, what I essentially want to do in this document is I want to create a link for each of these planets that's going to jump me down to the relevant section in the document that has the information about those planets. So it's almost like having a little mini table of contents at the beginning of the document. And it just really assists the person reading the document when it comes to navigating and being able to jump to different sections of interest quickly. Now we've actually seen how to do something similar to this in previous modules when we were talking about hyperlinks. And I could very easily set this up as a hyperlink, but I want to show you a different way of doing it using bookmarks. So the first thing that I want is I want to be able to click on Mercury and jump down to that section of the document. So the first thing I need to do is scroll down to that section of this document. So we're going to go down and find Mercury. There we are. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to insert a bookmark. So if you jump up to the insert ribbon in the links group, you'll see that we have a bookmark option. And if we just read that screen tip, it says bookmarks work with hyperlinks to let you jump to a specific place in your document. Here's how it works. Select the content you want to jump to, insert a bookmark, and then add a hyperlink that points to your bookmark. So that's pretty much what we're going to do. I'm going to create a bookmark for the word Mercury, and we're then going to link to that bookmark. So I'm going to select my word by double clicking and up to bookmark. So in this bookmark dialog box, the first thing I need to do is give my bookmark a name. Now you can name your bookmark whatever you like, but you have to have one word. So you can't have a space in there or anything like that. So I'm just going to call mine Mercury and I'm going to say add. Now you can tell when you've bookmarked some text because you'll see these brackets around the outside of the word Mercury. Now, if you don't see them, this is just a setting that you'll find in options. So I'll show you where that is now because it is really useful to be able to see these little bookmarks. Of course, these things don't print if you were to print this document. They're just there for your reference. So if you've added a bookmark and you can't see them, jump up to File, go all the way down to Options, and we want to go into the Advanced area. And we're going to scroll down until we get to this show document content section. And you want to make sure that you have a tick in the box that says show bookmarks. Once you've done that, you'll be able to see wherever you've put in those bookmarks. So now I have my bookmark. I'm going to press control home to jump to the top of my document. And I'm essentially going to create a link that's going to jump me to that place in the document. And I'm going to link to the bookmark that we've just put in. So this time I'm going to go up to link and I'm going to say insert link. And again, this box should look familiar because we were using it when we were looking at hyperlinks. But instead of linking to existing files and web pages, I'm going to go straight over to the right hand side and you'll see that I have an option to link to a bookmark. And what will happen here is that any bookmarks that you have in your document will be picked up and pulled into this little window. And you can then select the bookmark that you want to link to. Click on OK. Click on OK again, and you'll see that I now have essentially a hyperlink that is linking to a bookmark. And if I want to follow it, I just hold down control 
click and it's going to jump me down to the correct position in the document. Let's do that one more time. So I'm going to select Venus, up to bookmark. I'm going to give my bookmark a name of Venus, click on add, control home to jump to the top of the document, double click to select the word Venus and then create a link. And we're going to create it from a bookmark and the bookmark this time is Venus. And there we go, as simple as that. Now there's lots of different ways that you can use bookmarks and we're going to be exploring some more of those in this section. But for now, that is it. I will see you in the next module. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To get the files the instructor used in this tutorial and follow along, click over there. And click over there to watch more videos on YouTube from Simon Says It.